Hello there. You enjoying the sun? Okay, I'll talk to you later. My god, this rain is freaking nuts. At least once a year, or once a month. They get these freaking fire trucks and everything flying past me. Next morning, uh, or rather next afternoon, some stuff is happening down here and these trees are finally starting to get their leaves. I wonder why my neighborhood keeps having uh, fires. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like some shit is going down up here. I have no idea what's happening actually. I think there's more trucks parked up here. Damn, they hooked it up. Water ain't on, but... Oh, this ain't good. I do smell something, but I'm not sure what it is. My hair is all wet. I just took a shower. <laughs> yeah, what's kind of interesting is that, like, this whole area, it's kind of a bunch of houses and older buildings. So, like, all the people who live in this part in my neighborhood, no one's wearing a mask while they're outside. <laughs> it's just a very... Look at this freaking house. Holy crap. I, I really haven't explored much about my neighborhood. I mean, I've been around here for five years. Looks like it was here at the, the, at the uh, Djibouti Embassy. Like, I think something happened in there, but it looks like they're wrapping up all the coils. See, they're putting all the stuff away now. Yeah, the uh, Djibouti Embassy over here. I didn't realize that their embassy was over here, actually. Uh, that caught fire. Well, apparently there was a, like a kitchen fire or something which was extinguished. I don't know if you guys know this about Djibouti, and this is actually a pretty important fact to know if you're really interested in Japanese military and history and stuff like that. And these are pretty flowers. Djibouti actually hosts the only forward operating base of the Japanese self-defense forces and uh, it's a very important place for shipping so as Japan is a very shipping oriented country in terms of its economy being able to protect their assets and whatnot is the reason why they have a forward operating base in Djibouti and actually I think China also operates a base there South Korea has people stationed there a lot of random Asian countries have a base in Djibouti. So their embassy over here is pretty important and uh, apparently they had a fire, so. But it's okay, nothing serious. But two days in a row where we've had a fire in my neighborhood to the point where they had to dispatch all the trucks. Look at this old house. It's America, do I need my passport? <laughs> I'm just trying to find a fucking kombini. That's the problem though. It's officially tank top weather, boys. I'm gonna walk in my neighborhood. I found the Myanmar Embassy, which is right here. Don't quite know what's going on in there, but it's a rather large embassy. I don't know how many Burma people are here in Japan, but it's a pretty big building over here. There's quite a lot of embassies in this neighborhood, actually. construction sign it was it's in Japanese now now it's in English all right first day of golden week and it's really freaking crowded all right <laughs> there's a chopper flying over see it there he is anyway I'm on my way to center guy there's a uh, wow these taxis are in the way there it is anyway there's this thing going on. Okay, are these taxis Jagoffs? Look at this shit. You guys are gonna be stuck here. I hope you know that. Oh, wow, that's dumb. Anyway, 
There's something going on over there in the center, guy. Let me show you. The famous Family Mart's got something going on in front of it, actually. That's what's going on over here. I tried way too hard. <laughs> There's a reason I don't play soccer. <laughs> Aiden's here. I'm here. Yeah, he's the audio guy from the... Oh, someone's here. I'm the audio guy from the everything. Yes. He's one of the few, like, actual pros that I know who does audio. If you want video editing done like a pro, that's Andy's job here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah he's, taking, he's doing some shashing to do. So I'm going to take my hair out because I'm having a... Yeah, look at, look at this right here. See, it's all flicky right here on the side. <laughs> of course, this is tight, happening. Tight, 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 tight. That's what she said. Okay, no, open your eyes, baby. <laughs> okay, you watching? Okay. Bam, baby, bam. Open up, baby. Open up slowly. <laughs> she got the power. <laughs> I think she's drunk. Where's my drink? Oh, oh crap. We gotta get the tarot cards out. We gotta get the tarot cards out. It's coming out. That's what she said. Yeah, I got pulled over by the fuzz as I was walking down the street to get myself some Wendy's. By the way, brand new Yoshinoya just popped. I literally posted five years ago to this date. My buddy James and I were wheeling our, uh, my old ceiling fan down the street because I sold it to him, basically. And that was like the only time I've ever been stopped by the cops here in my neighborhood because I think they, they thought it was such a funny situation. They're like, yeah, this tall, long-haired white guy was pulling a ceiling fan down the street. Every cop in this area knows that I'm like, you know, that guy. And, you know, they see me all the time. I've talked to a handful of cops as well, you know, when shit goes down. You know, I, want, I ask them, I'm hey, what's going on, right? And they all have like the Osaki or the uh, Gotanda or whatever badge on, right? Shinagawa's, you know, police office. So, a bit of a surprise to me, getting pulled over literally right by my own apartment. And the guy's asking me, you got drugs? Why would I have drugs? You got a knife? Why would I have a knife? I'm just get some Wendy's, damn it. <laughs> uh... Actually, I'm noticing, I think they're just looking for somebody right now because I just saw a cop car go that way. There's actually another one. Sorry. There's another one right there. He's pulling over already. That's a different cop car. And that's a Toyota Crown RS. The one that pulled me over was a uh, different Toyota or a Nissan or something, I don't know. <sighs> Just because I'm walking down the street going to Wendy's don't mean I'm stabbing people, damn it. Oh, that's some stormy weather up in the north. Look at that. Are we going to see some lightning today? Oh, yeah, it's definitely some rain over there. That's to the northwest. Look at the sun. That's pretty cool, isn't it? But yeah, right there, right behind the Tolcho, there's some rain falling. You can feel the outflow from the winds, or the outflow winds from the storm, rather. Yeah, right there, that's some dark clouds. What's going to happen? Gonna get some cells, I don't know. It's nice going this way though, that's where I'm I'm going that way now, so I don't think I'm gonna get in the rain uh, get in the rain yet. <laughs> I'm in Sheebs. Yeah, I'm in Sheebs and it's crowded. I've 
Look, I'm not saying I'm not happy about all this, but at the same time, I kind of wish that I didn't have to go through crowds again. I thought we left that back in 2019. <laughs> Who are these dragons? <laughs> I really don't want to at this point. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.